Axel Persson is a train driver and head of the Rail Workers Union in Trap. He joins me now to talk about this. Uh, good to have you, sir. Thank you. We do need to hear both sides of the story. And, and until now, we've heard that these changes that Emmanuel Macron is introducing are necessary for a modern, competitive transport industry. You don't agree? Well, the, the railway industry in France is already very competitive. Only this uh, last year, the profit that were generated by the railway amounted to 1.33 billion profit uh, annually for the uh, 2017 fiscal year. So that is why uh, the private operators and the government wants to privatize uh, the railway because there is lots of money to be made. And uh, that is why uh, there are private operators that are interested in uh, entering this industry. There are two aspects to this reform. The first one is the dismantling of the national railway operator, uh, which aims at dismantling it and uh, auctioning it region by region to the highest bidder. And the aim being that private companies uh, recuperate a regional market and the public fundings that go with it. And in order to maximize their profits, uh, they have threatened to close down almost a third of the railway lines that are not profitable enough and are threatening to, so, uh, to raise the prices in order to maximize the profits. Do you see, though, the necessity for change? Whenever one hears France and one hears about public sector strikes, it always comes down to, well, the workers just don't want change. They just want to protect their own, uh, some would say, extremely generous packages. As I said, there are two aspects to the reforms. The first one is a privatization of the railway. The second aspect, as you say, is a massive attack on our terms and working conditions. And the government wants to deprive the future railway workers of the same rights that we have. But uh, what you're saying is that uh, you're implying that we do not necessarily want change. But I can only point out to the fact that despite us having won several advantages in terms of uh, pension, uh, working conditions, salaries and so forth, this has never hindered the railway from going from the steam engines to uh, the fastest, to one of the most performant uh, high-speed railway lines in the entire Europe and in some aspect in the entire world. So we're not against change. And we've been changing for the past 70 years. But what the government is trying to so implement right now is a rollback in... Uh, Are you... Uh, so the government is trying to implement a rollback in all our advantages right. back to the, basically, to the same situation that applied in the 19th century. So we are not the ones who are uh, opposing change. Uh, we are the ones who want, to, uh, in the contrary, to uh, improve our conditions and expand them to all other workers, not only railway workers. Right. But is this... Look, you're, you've heard the analogy before. Is this Macron's Maggie Thatcher moment. Are you at risk of being the touchstone, if you like, the litmus test that he's going to take on the railway workers, beat the railway workers' strike in a way that Maggie Thatcher did, Margaret Thatcher did in the 1980s? You're well familiar, sir, I know you are, with this sort of analogy between the two. Yes, sir, and I think you're spot on on, the, on this fact, because uh, historically speaking, railway workers in France and also mine workers, uh, historically speaking in France, have historically been the organized vanguard of the labor movement. And the different advantages we have gained, for example, in terms of pension and, uh, for example, paid holidays, the railway workers won them first, and then the rest of organized labor took our advantages as a benchmark and a beacon and said, we want the same advantages as the railway workers. So that is why they want to break us. That is why they want to improve a defeat on us in the same way that Maggie Thatcher uh, defeated the miners in order not only to defeat the railway workers but right. to defeat entire organized labor in France so that is exactly what is happening and that is also why this fight is becoming eminently political and that is why also there are other industrial sectors that are currently organizing right. strikes right. alongside us and that we are and that our objective is to expand the strike to all sectors in France we hope you'll come back as this continues and uh, explain again to us, or at least keep us updated on what's happening. Good to see you, sir. Thank you for taking time on a Friday night.